Immediately after September 11th, um, I found the urge to tell people who I am and what is my faith stands for. Uh, on 9-11, Muslims believed that their faith has been hijacked uh, by 19 individuals, and we wanted to tell um, our fellow Americans what our faith stands for, and we wanted to reclaim our faith back. So this has been in my brain since September 11th, 2001. You know, when you work with a, uh, a publisher, they're the one who play with a, with, a, with a name. I have different title for the book. I had Mercy, I had a brother from a different mother. Uh, but um, once the, um, the company that the publisher looked at the book says Cloud Miles would be a very intriguing title uh, for the book. The book starts with me and the uh, interfaith community, basically religion united right here from Oklahoma City, rabbis and preachers uh, flying from Oklahoma to the Holy Land. And uh, with me are rabbis and preachers, which I grew up uh, conceivably thinking that those were my enemies. Um, and then from that flight, as we, you know, going mile by mile over the clouds, I would be reflecting back on my 50 years um, growing up in a Palestinian refugee camp in Lebanon, um, coming for the first time to meet Lady Liberty, um, being accused, John Doe number two of Oklahoma City bombing, to being denied. Uh, access to pray in our people's capital. Um, it's a story of a person who's deeply in love with America, deeply in love with his state, and kept being rejected and wishing that his state, his country, would love him back. Imam and Jassi, let's talk a little bit about your beginnings, because I think that's really intriguing, like where you came from and where you were born and what happened to you. you, you it was in a, a camp, wasn't it? Yes. So I grew up in, uh, in a refugee camp. I grew up on Christian welfare, um, Religion United, uh, which is the Middle Eastern Council of Churches. Um, I, I grew up in their orphanage. Um, took, was taken care of by um, uh, Christians who invoked Jesus and Mary's name as they fed me. But also, fast forward 17 years after that, um, I was, my camp was attacked by those who also invoked Jesus and Mary's name as they butchered 1,800 of my friends and family. So the two Jesuses comes face to face with each other. I couldn't reconcile between the Jesus who fed me and took care of me and gave me sugar candy and the Jesus was invoked. And ironically so, as a Muslim, Jesus is a huge part of my theology. So as they were invoking Jesus and Mary's name to kill those victims, I was invoking the same names for safety. Well, right after the massacre in 1982, it seems like anybody who survived that massacre uh, embassy decided to give him a visa. So uh, after f four trials, I actually received a visa to come to the United States of America. First flight from Beirut to New York City uh, with very little money in my pocket. I had to meet this lady that I have a long distance relationship with named Lady Liberty. So. Uh, uh, I knew she was too good for me. She had her own island after all. However, you know, uh, with no hesitation, with very little money, I took the boat to the, to the island. I make no judgment in my book. It's just a story for anyone to read. Um, I'm hoping my, the audience that would read that is the larger American audience, um, and they would see um, um, a story of a young boy uh, that was struggling um, for citizenship, that was struggling to belong.
young man who became um, a proud U.S. citizen and a, a, a proud Oklahoman um, uh, keep trying to repel hate with love. I don't say anything except for you to make your own conclusion that we should not generalize about anybody's faith and anybody's religion. I did not. And hopefully people will not generalize about my faith either.